joining me. Today I am doing a 14 by 18 gallery wrapped canvas by Artist Loft. I'm going to be using Titanium White by Master's Touch. And then I am using Metallic Steel Blue by Deco Art. Followed by Passion Red. Uh, it's a Delta Ceram coat. This is a satin color. Then Metallic Worn Penny by Deco Art. I haven't used this color before, so this is the reason that I'm doing this color because I chose that one and then chose the other colors around it. King's Gold by Apple Barrel. And then for my last color, Extreme Glitter Turquoise by Folk Art. So this should have lots of sparkle and shine to it with three colors that are either metallic or glitter. So I'm looking forward to that. All right, I'm going to flood my canvas and then I'll be right back. All right, canvas is flooded. The bubbles are popped. Just checking to make sure that everything looks good. I'm hoping that I have enough paint on this canvas. I kept seeing some of the canvas through the paint, but it felt like I had a lot of paint on here. So I hope I don't have too much. I also hope I don't have too little. So we will lay the colors down. I'm not sure how I want to do it. I think I will... Hmm. How should I do this? I think I'll go diagonal and then come up here. Is that how I want to do it? Maybe. See, I still feel like I'm seeing canvas right in through there, but I don't know. I just don't want to end up with way too much because that would be a disaster too. All right, I think I'm not going to go completely corner to corner. I'm going to start here. I go to there. And then bring this one up from here. All right. Well, this is a really pretty color. Like I said, I, I've, I've never used this one before and I've never used the worn penny before. So So some of you may be wondering why I have two different bottles of white paint that I use and wondering if they're two different colors. No, they're not two different colors. They're actually both the same. It's just um, when I mixed up the paint one time, I had um, some hard crusty stuff in it. And so it was in the paint. And instead of picking it out all the time, from the big bottle, I decided to put it in the smaller bottle so that I could just use that on the sides because for one thing, if it is on the sides, it's not gonna be as noticeable, but also if I notice it, it's easier to pick out because it's along the sides. 
and also I feel like it's going to be a little bit heavier possibly and so hopefully it would fall off of the sides but also when I uh, fix paint in this one when I make a new batch the uh, recipe that I use the ratios that I use make it almost completely up to the top so if I put the leftovers in the small bottle then I don't have to worry about having too much in the big bottle because I left it in the big bottle one time and I almost didn't have enough room to put all of the water in there that I needed to so that's why I have two bottles I'm glad I'm finally out of the paint that's in the smaller bottle because I'm going to rinse it out to make sure that if there is any more of that junk in there that I can get it out of there so it'll just be a nice clean bottle of paint to use. So excited. It's fall here and the leaves have been changing colors for probably the last three or four weeks. I mean, a lot of them are falling now, but it is still just so gorgeous here. I live on top of a mountain, and there's a valley and then another mountain in my backyard. And so it's really cool because I get to see the um, different layers of the trees. So I've really, really been enjoying that this year. All right, the colors are down. I'm going to start by blowing right here this way. I'm hoping that there's enough um, concentration of colors right here that if I blow it this way, it'll blow out and fill not all of this space, but a little bit more of the space. Oh, before we do that, we need to pop the bubbles again. All right.
don't like how this is pretty much flat there, so I'm going to try blowing it out just a little bit more if I can reach it. Okay, that almost looks like it's flatter than it was before. I wonder if I get the little leaf blower, if that would help make it so it's not quite so much. All right, hold on a second. Yes, I like that much better. These colors are interesting. The yellow at this point almost reminds me of a Dijon mustard yellow. I mean, this is kind of a mustard yellow anyway, and I was debating on if I wanted to mix up a bright yellow but I decided to go with this anyway. But I think with the worn penny, I think that's just making it look even more um, dark, I guess. But overall, I think it's pretty. I like it. I was kind of thinking that it almost felt like there wasn't enough paint over here. And that's where I saw where it almost looked like I could see part of the canvas. And so I probably was seeing part of the canvas. But this does have a lot of beautiful cells. There's so many cells in here. It's really, really pretty. And all of the lacing and so I do like it. I like the coloration. And there's this faint blue and red under here that's, you can tell it's kind of under the surface of the white and over here even. But I kind of like it. it. It just gives it a shadowy look. So let me touch up my edges and then I will bring you in for a close up. Here it is. I can't even tell what you're looking at right now because I pulled it up trying to make it so that you could see the majority of it in one picture. But let me zoom in. So as you can see, there's so many pretty cells and lacing. This is going to be so sparkly. It's going to look so pretty. That one has a little tail. It's got a couple little tails, actually. <laughs> Look at all that. Oh, it's so neat. And then you've got some that has the darker solid colors. So I just love the, the combination of the two. Over here is where I 
saying I really like the all the cells cells that are happening. It's hard to show them to you. There, I think you can see them better. So pretty. All right, I'm gonna shut the lights off and turn the flash on on my camera. Let's see how sparkly it is. So here it is with the flash. Oh yeah, look. That worn penny looks so pretty. Oh, that is going to look really nice in here, I think. Look at that, how it sparkles. It's just amazing how much detail there is. You can look at it and you think, oh yeah, that's neat. And then you look at it again and you're just like, how did I miss that part? That's so neat too. I love those red cells. <laughs> They're really cool looking. This one has a few wispies. I think there's like three or four wispies on that one. I like those. Gives it a little more interest. I thought maybe I'd get a little more purple and green, but I mean, it looks like there's a little bit of green there, maybe. But I didn't, and I think it might be because I was using the metallics, and so they probably didn't interact as much with the regular ones as I thought they might. So, which is fine. I think it's pretty even, even without that. Oh, this is just, it's glittering so much in through here. It's so sparkly, I love it. This is going to look so neat once it dries and I can resin it. So my plans are resining a bunch next week. Let me know what you think of this in the comments. If you haven't subscribed yet, I ask that you would please subscribe. And thank you to my current subscribers. And if you liked this, please hit the like button. All right, that's all for now. Thanks for joining me. Talk to you later. Bye.